Tell him how grateful you are. Tell him how loving he is. Tell him how gracious he is. Bless his holy name. Honor his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Begin to worship him. Begin to exalt his holy name. Begin to say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for another moment in your presence. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I bless your holy name. For another wonderful moment in your presence, it is not of him that will it. It is not of him that runneth. It is of God that sheweth mercy. Begin to worship him. Begin to exalt him. Begin to adore him. Bless his holy name. Worship his holy name. He's worthy of our praises. He's worthy of our thanksgiving. He's worthy of everything. For he is good and his mercy endureth forever. In him we live, in him we breathe, in him we have our being. Worship his holy name. Glorify his holy name. He alone is worthy to be praised. Among other gods, he is glorious in holiness. He is fearful in praises. He always do wonders. Bless his holy name. Worship His holy name. Glorify His holy name. Glorify His holy name. Glorify His holy name. Glorify His holy name. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him from the bottom of your heart that you are able to witness another day. That you are able to witness another Saturday. Another moment in His presence. Glorify His holy name. Worship His holy name. Adore his holy name, magnify his holy name. He alone is worthy. He alone is worthy, worthy of our praises, worthy of our worship, worthy of everything. Because he is he that walk in horse, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Jehovah, we worship you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be honored. You are worthy to be worshipped. You are worthy to be adored. You remain the same yesterday, today and forever. There is none like you. There is none that can be compared to you. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Father, we worship you. 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 For another privilege in your presence. For another privilege in your presence. We say thank you. We bless your name. We adore your name. We extol your name. We say thank you. 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 Begin to worship him. Begin to exalt his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Adore him. Adore him. Sing songs unto him. Worship him. Glorify him. Adore him. Let him know how grateful you are. Let him know how thankful you are. Let him know, let him know how appreciating you are. Let him know. Let him know. Let him know you are grateful. Let him know. Worship him. For he seeketh those who will worship him in spirit. And also in truth. Worship him. Let God search your heart and see that, Oh, my son is worshipping me. My daughter is worshipping me. Let him search your heart and see that truly, 
there is someone there worshiping me worship him glorify him adore him exhort him magnify his holy name let him search your heart and see that truly someone is there worshiping me oh let him search your heart and see that truly someone is there worshiping me begin to worship his holy name begin to exhort him adore him for he alone is worthy he alone is worthy of our praises he alone is worthy of our worship he alone is worthy of everything for it is by him and in him we live it is not of him that we live it is not of him that runneth bible says it is of god that showeth mercy for it is of his mercy is that we are not consumed for his compassion faileth not worship his holy name adore his holy name magnify his holy name glorify his holy name magnify his holy name thank him thank him thank him thank him thank him it is another moment in his presence this day you are going to receive divine help from god this day you are going to receive divine help from god give him glory give him honor give him adorations give him adorations worship him worship him worship him worship him worship him father we worship you lord i worship you Lord God Almighty, we worship you. Jehovah is your name. I heard that I am is your name. You are worthy. 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 Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Now you're going to pray unto God. You're going to tell it to God. The word of God says in Psalm 121. The Bible says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. From whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. You are going to cry unto God. Tell it to God, Lord, I believe your word. Send your help to me. I believe that you only are the one that give help. Send help to me. Cry to God with faith. Cry to God believing God that he has answered you. He has heard you. Cry to God. Lord, according to your word, I believe that help comes from you. Lord, send your help to me in the name of Jesus. Send your help to me in the name of Jesus. Send your help to me in the name of Jesus. Send your help to me in the name of Jesus. I hope you are praying. Send your help to me in the name of Jesus. Send your help to me in the name of Jesus. Send your help to me in the name of Jesus. Send your help to me in the name of Jesus. Send your help to me in the name of Jesus. Send your help to me in the name of Jesus. Send your help to me in the name of Jesus. Send your help to me in the name of Jesus. Tell it to God that the Lord should send his help to you. For he alone is the one that can give you, that can render you, that can provide help to you. No one else. No one else. The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth begin to tell it to him lord i believe your word that you are the holy one that can help me that you are the holy one help come from it is not from the east nor from the west it comes from you and i believe you i believe you i believe you lord i believe you that help only come from you it doesn't come from any other thing. It doesn't come from any other thing. Help comes from you alone. Help comes from you alone. I believe your word. I believe your word. 
I believe your word. I believe your word. Begin to worship him. Thank him because he has answered you. 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 Praise him because he has heard you. Thank him because he has heard you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we have prayed. We're going to tell it to God finally. Lord, minister your word to me. It is another moment in your presence. Because in your presence there is liberty. In your presence there is liberty. Cry to God and say, Lord, minister your word to me. I have come before your presence. Minister your word to me. Minister your word to me. Tell it to him in prayer. Tell it to him. Minister your word to me. Lord, minister your word to me. Here am I in your presence. Here am I in your presence. Minister your word to me. Minister your word to me. Speak to me. Speak to me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. We give God all the glory. We give God all the honor and adoration for another moment in His presence. Uh, we thank Him for everything He has been doing. You know, God has been very faithful. God has been very, very faithful, even to you. In every way, He has been faithful. And may His name be forever be praised. This morning, we are going to look at His word. We have different people, in fact, billions of people all over the world. And one thing that is very, very unique about God is this. God knows every soul under this heaven. God knows every soul under this heaven. As many as we have. As as seemingly animals as we may be. Billions of people all over the world. That is one you another that is one of the unique things about God. He knows everyone. In fact, the scripture makes us to understand that he, he can count the strand of the hair of everyone. That is the uniqueness of God. And if God knows everyone, if God recognizes everyone, if God created everyone, meaning that the Bible says in, in the book of Proverbs chapter 21, it says the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord, like the rivers of water. He directs it wheresoever he wills. Proverbs 21 verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he wills. So everyone in under this heaven, everyone in this world, God can decide to turn their heart anywhere. We are looking at the topic divine help Psalm 121 verse 1 Psalm 121 verse 1 that's what we read when we prayed that's what we read when we are praying it says I will lift up my eyes unto the east from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. Let me read again. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. That was the psalmist saying, speaking there. He said, From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. The hills there is in Jerusalem. The hills there 
is in Zion. The Bible says, Upon man Zion shall be deliverance and holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. And since it is upon man Zion, since it is in Jerusalem, the psalmist believed that his help does, cannot come from anywhere other from God. He believes that it is on the hill, on the mountain of Zion, his help can come from. The psalmist in Psalm 121 that we are reading, the psalmist believes that his help can come from nowhere but from God, who situate in Zion, that is in Jerusalem. Therefore, he says, My help cometh from the Lord, which made heavens and the earth. So, one thing we need to understand is that divine help comes from God. Divine help comes from God. Divine help does not come from any man. If a man tells you, I will do this for you, if a man tells you, I will do that for you, it is very certain that it is not in man to do anything. No. It is not in the capacity of man to do anything. So that is why men fail. That is why men do what? Men fail. Because it is not in the capacity of man to do anything. No wonder Apostle Paul said in Philippians chapter 2 verse 13. He said, for it is God who works in you. Can you see that? Philippians chapter 2. 2 verse 13 For it is God who walk in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. So man fail. Why? Because it is not in the capacity of man to do anything. Man is controlled by spirits. And if it wills, if God wills, he uses man for a certain thing. If he wills, he will not use him. So that is why our help should not be directed towards man. Because man will always be man. Man has capacity to fail at any point in time. But when you put God in the equation, when you put God forward, when you go to him, as the psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. When you go to him, you are very, very certain that you will receive help. Why? Because you have acknowledged God. You have gone to him. You have made him to know that you have no other God. Like the song says, I have no other God but you. We have no other God but God Almighty. So, divine help comes from God. But one thing that is very, very unique is this. Help does not come from any man. Neither does it come from any deity? The uniqueness there is that it comes from God through man. Help comes from God through man. That is why we need God in every aspect of our life. Any time, any day, any moment, we need God. Why? Because it is God that distributes help. That is why the, the scripture makes us to understand that it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth. Of God that sheweth mercy. It is of him that sheweth mercy. The Bible says the race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. So it is not in the capacity of man to do anything. So if you go to man, I need 
Sir, I need, I, I, please help me. I need a capital to, rob, to, to start a business. Please help me. And, and your brother says, okay, don't worry. I will give you, um, you say you need 250,000. Okay, I will give you 200,000 next week. You go to him. <laughs> and surprisingly, you get to him and he says, my brother, sorry. I, I am very, very tight this moment. You have, ex you, you have laid your expectation on him. That is man. Not that man is willing to fail, but he doesn't have the capacity to fulfill anything. It is God that helps man to fulfill anything. So when you lay, when you go to God for help, the only thing God does is that he commands a person to render that help to you. That is why help only comes through man. It is not from man. That is one key thing we need to understand. Help comes through men from God. That is why God can just speak to you know, okay, let me, when we look at the story of Mordecai and Herman, God just woke up King Azeroth. God just woke him up. And he began, and he began to check through the, the book of the, rec, the record book. He began to check the record book. God just woke him up in the middle of the night. Don't forget, Esther had been praying with the Jews. They had been fasting and praying. God just did what? God woke uh, uh, King Ahasuerus. God woke him up in the middle of the night. And he began to check the record book. And, said, and he asked one of his servants, he said, Sorry, this Mordecai that helped the king so, 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 so time, what has been done? <laughs> and the, the servant told him that said, nothing has been done. Oh, oh really? Okay. <laughs> and his enemy came and he said, Oh, hey man, what do you think can be done to someone that the king's delighted most in? <laughs> and to cut the long story short, you know it. That is how God did what? Elevated Mordecai through his enemies. So God sent help to Mordecai. Mordecai did not go to the king for any help. But God woke King Azeroth up in the middle of the night only because of Mordecai. When you stick to God, when you delight in Him, He will send help to you. That is the number one thing you need to understand. We all need divine help. We all need help in every area. We need help. Maritally, we need help. Financially, we need help. Ministerially, spiritually, physically, everybody needs help. But the truth is, no man can give the help except through God. Only God can give the help. So God will not tell somebody, go and give my son such a such thing. God can wake somebody up in the middle of the night and says, please go and give this person this your salary. Go and give this person this certain amount of money. That is what God can do. Why? Because in that Proverbs 21 that we read, verse 1, Proverbs 21 verse 1, the Bible says the king's heart is in the hands of the Lord. The king's heart is in the hands of the Lord. So God can direct anybody's mind, anybody's heart to bless one of his children. So when you need help, you need to go to God. When you delight in God, when you trust in Him, all your desires will be met. Psalm 37 verse 4. Psalm 37 verse 4. 
says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. We are asked to delight ourselves also in God. Do your part, and he will do his part. You delight yourself also in him, and he will give thee the desires of thy heart. So, when you need help, don't give yourself, you know, you don't need to give yourself much troubles, much headaches. All you need is to delight yourself in the Lord. All you need is to cry to the Lord. All you need is to approach the Lord. Father, this and this and this is what I need. I decree into someone's life that every herb that has been turning prior now and it has come to the delay and there is a release of that herb right now in Jesus name God is bringing a divine help to you in Jesus name and end has come to delay your divine help is locating you in Jesus name you see, God is the only one that helps. He only uses men to carry out his assignment. So if he wills, the person you think that will help you, the person may not help you. He may not help you. But when you tarry before God, because the king's heart is in his hand, because he knows everyone in this world, he can use anybody to bless you. I'm a divine testimony to this. I'm a testimony to this. Someone who never knew me. Somebody who never knew me. And just said, oh, send me your account number. And from that point, till this present moment, God has been using the person for the work of the ministry. So God knows every man. When you need help, you don't need to, to, to give yourself a dick over anybody because it is God who distributes help. He only uses man. And because he holds the heart of the kings, because the scripture says the king's heart is in his hands, he can direct it whatsoever, like he did for Mordecai. Like King Azeros in the middle of the night woke up only because of Mordecai. Mordecai did not go to King Azeros for any help. But God woke him up. God woke him up only because of Mordecai. I decree into your life that the Lord God Almighty will lay your help, your need in the heart of someone to meet your needs in Jesus' name. That person will receive restlessness until he blesses you in Jesus name your help has come in Jesus name a songwriter says my help is in the name of the Lord my help is in the name of the Lord for the Lord a God is mighty our help is in the name of the Lord your help is in the name of the Lord our help is in the name of the Lord that is why we need to understand that air only comes from God through man. Air does not come directly from man. So man has every tendency to fail. Not because he desires to fail. Not because he wishes to fail. But because he is, un he is not ordained by God to help you. I told you that man does not have any capacity to fulfill anything the bible says in the book of psalm it says it is not in man to direct his ways so man does not have any capacity to fulfill anything so when you go to man for help when you go to man for help you might just be you you, you are only given a trial however 
If you are not careful, you will only fill yourself with headache. Why? Because it is not in the capacity of man to do anything. It is not in the capacity of man to help. The Bible says in Philippians 2 verse 13, I've, I've, I've mentioned it again. He says, for it is God that walketh in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. So it is God who walk in man. And since it is God who walk in man, you need to go to God. When you go to God, God knows how he will touch the heart of man for you. I pray that help is locating you in Jesus' name. Help is locating you in Jesus' name. Because you have joined this broadcast, help is locating you in Jesus' name. So, brethren, divine help comes from God. Divine help does not come from any man. It only comes through man. Note that. It only comes through what? Through man. How can we now access this divine help? How can we access this divine help? Psalm 37 verse 4. Psalm 37 verse 4. It says, Delight thyself also in the Lord. I want you to note that God is speaking to me and you. Delight thyself also in the Lord. Delight thyself also in the Lord. How can we access divine help? This is what how we can access divine help. Psalm 37, verse 4. Delight thyself also in the Lord. And what's last verse? It says. And he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Kabaro shia kataliada. He says, delight, when you delight thyself, when I delight myself in the Lord, he will give me the desires of my heart. Look at Esther, what Esther did. Look at what Mordecai did. They delighted themselves in the Lord. And God did what? God granted them the desires of their hearts they delighted themselves in the Lord look at David David gave himself to the Lord and God granted him the desires of his heart when you delight yourself in the Lord look at Abraham everybody wants the blessings of Abraham but not everybody desires or strives to delight in God one of the best ways to access divine help from God is to delight oneself in Him. One of the best ways to access to make the windows of heaven open unto us is to delight ourselves in the Lord. You work for God. You do His will. We work for God. We do His will. When you delight yourself in the Lord, hey, you don't need to, you don't, you don't need to, to beg any man for help. When you delight yourself in the Lord, you don't need to beg any man for help. The Bible says, when we delight ourselves in the Lord, He will give us the desires of our heart. How can we access divine help? When we delight ourselves in the Lord. This is very key. You say it. I delight myself in the Lord. I delight myself in the Lord. I do His will. I fulfill His will. I do His commandment. When you delight yourself in the Lord, He will surely give thee the desires of thy heart. Another thing. How can we access the divine help? Through giving. No matter how little you, give you give your heart when you give your heart when you give your money when you give your blood I was reading a particular scripture I think was it not yesterday when Jesus Christ was saying talking about suffering in the flesh Jesus Christ suffered in the flesh and when we suffer in the flesh when we strive to please God, we are trying to do what? We are trying to delight ourselves in Him. 
we are trying to obey him. We are trying to please him. And by so doing, he will grant us the desires of our hearts. So before we pray, I want you to understand this concept of accessing divine help. Delighting yourself in the Lord is a very, very key way to accessing divine help without going to meet any man, without going to meet anybody, help will just be coming. I am a divine testimony to it. Help will be coming without going to meet any man. Help will just be flowing in. Delight yourself in the Lord. You need to come out from the ways that are not pleasing God. You need to come out from the ways that are not pleasing to God and delight yourself in Him. No matter what you have done in time past, a fresh start can begin now. No matter what you have done in time past, a fresh start can begin now. No matter what you have done, I repeat, in time past, a fresh start can begin now. You can begin to delight yourself in the Lord. You can begin to please Him. You can begin to walk in His will. You can begin to walk in His path. And by the time you begin to do all these, you will observe that things are falling in pleasant places unto you. Things you didn't ask for, God begins to give you. Why? Because you are fulfilling the scripture that says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall grant thee the desires of thy heart. Psalm 37 verse 4. So I want you to note this. As you join me in this time, in this time, in this revival time, what we need is to delight ourselves in the Lord. Because our help only comes from God. It is God that will now choose whom to help us. It is the one that will choose. Ah, who do I who do I choose to help this one? Okay. So 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 and so. Take this so so and so of yours. Go and give it to so so and so. God is the one who, deli- who, who owns the heart of the kings and he directs it anywhere, anywhere, anyhow. So, as many as you are, as many that are listening, I want you to understand this concept. God wants us to understand it. Many have been striving for years just because they do not understand this concept of how they can access divine help. They are only struggling, struggling, struggling outside the will of God until they come to the knowledge of the truth, until they come to the understanding of the divine truth that, oh, you don't need to strive, you don't need to be begging people all around. All you need is to delight yourself in Christ. All you need is to surrender yourself to him your heart, your money, your blood, everything, surrender it to him and he will give thee the desires of thy heart. I hope this will be someone's scripture. I hope this will be someone's, someone's uh, watchword, someone's meditation. Psalm 37 verse 4, delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give the desires of thy heart. Can we begin to appreciate the name of the Lord? Can we begin to exhort him? This is a moment of prayer that you cannot afford to miss. This is a pray a moment of prayer that you cannot afford to joke with. This is a moment of prayer that you cannot afford to do anyhow with. I want you to appreciate God. He has sent his word to you. He has sent his word to me. He has sent his word to us. And the Bible says, It is of God who showeth mercy. It is of His mercy that we are not consumed. It is of His mercy that you are alive to hear this word. It is of His mercy that you are alive to hear how to access divine help. You might have been going different places. You might have been begging your boss. You might have been begging your brothers. You might have been begging your sisters. You might have been roaming about seeking for help. 
You might have been lobbying for jobs. You might have been doing all kinds of things only to seek the favor of men. And God is telling you that no, you are doing it a wrong way. No, that is the wrong way. This is the right way. Psalm 37 verse 4. Delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. So for you to hear this, you might have been reading the scripture before, but it might not have given you divine understanding that you need. And God is bringing it to you. Thank him for his word. Appreciate him for his word. Exhort him for his word. He alone can do this. He alone can open the eyes of our understanding. Many people have been struggling, moving earth as scatter. Many people have been behaving, you know, in a very frustrating manner. Why? Because they do not understand how to access divine help. And God is bringing it to you, how to access divine help. Delight in him, and he will give thee the desires of thy heart. Appreciate him. Worship him. Thank him. Bless his holy name. Acknowledge him. He has done it for many people. In fact, he did it for me. In fact, I'm still enjoying that grace. I'm still enjoying that grace. That grace. I'm still enjoying it. I'm still enjoying it to his glory. No one, no one, no one, no, no. It is, it is, it is him. He alone can give you help. Nobody. He can only send man. So if he had not sent man, you cannot blame man. If God has not sent man, you cannot blame him. So thank you for this revelation you have received. Thank you for this revelation you have received. When I receive this revelation, I thank him. Thank him for the revelation you have received. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Because by the time you begin to walk in this revelation, by the time, by the time you begin, we begin to walk in this revelation and see the rewards, the, 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 the benefits of this revelation, of walking in this revelation, oh, our lives will be a testimony. Our lives will be a testimony. We say thank you, Father. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your revelation. Thank you, Lord, for giving us your revelation again on how to access divine help. Thank you for giving us revelation on how to access divine help. Accessing divine help. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. We have no other God but you. We have no other God but you. We have no other God but you. Jehovah. We have no other God but you. I have no, I have no other God but you. I have no other God but you. I have no other God but you I have no other God but you you have done you have done what no man can do you will do what no man can do you have done you have done what no man can do you will do you will do what no man can do you have done you have done what no man 
can do, yes Lord, you will do what no man can do. You have done what no man can do. Can do you have done, you have done what no man can do. You will do what no man can do. I get up, Bradosi. Milano breko kuriantelia. Maze preke te luri rakada. Mekla yo Bradosi zatalia kakada. Be kuriya zikliya urora. Maze preke doliya kukiya. Mika kuriya zalia burora. Le e preke te luriya kakabara. Le e Bradosi kateria deya. Me te krogo doli rada deya burora. Maze preke doliya bagada. Ekle yo kroka deya. God Almighty, Jehovah, 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 you are the Jehovah Nessie, you are the Jehovah Nessie, you are the Jehovah Rapha. You are the Jehovah Jireh. Le epezo so totoria dia. Me de grege de lo bregedia. You are brado ze kleadoa. Me zo so perua ze atoria. Me e pralone ya kalam proliada. Lord God Almighty, our help comes from you. Our help comes from you. Our help come 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 from you. We believe your word. I believe your word that the help only come from you. No help come from no man. No help come from any man. Help come from you. Help come from you. Help come from you. You did it for Mordecai. You did it for Abraham. You did it for David. You did it for men of old. You did it for patriarch of old. Men, men of God, you did it for them. You can do it again. Help come from you. We will lift up our eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh our help? Our help cometh from the Lord. Who made heaven and earth? 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 You have made us to see, O God. We believe you, O God. Male e prolosi akaya toliada. Male ketele prokotoli andiyama. Mi izoli akapa. Male eskotoli grayi yemanoya. Mi kata brado se keteliada. Meze prege doloba. Mezge delibra godoliada. Meles ke ke kedebe. Mi rato kato praloya. I males ketele prokoda. In the mighty name of Jesus, our help come from you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I hope you are praying. 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 Malaysia te te ke toli. Malaysia te brega dada. Malaske ta le brega dada. My help come from you, Lord. My help come from you. 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 Malisa ta ke te preluzi kado brelo dea. Mila luria kapralose. Mes ke te brega doli da. Malé e preluria ta prage dea. Mes ke te brega doli dea. Mila luria se pedo kade. My help come from you. 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 In the name of Jesus. My help come from you, Lord God Almighty. In the name of Jesus. My help come from you. In the name of Jesus, my help come from you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. I want you to tell it to God, Lord God Almighty, from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south, send your help to me. I have known. I have gotten the understanding that help comes from you. Lord, from the east, west, north, and south of this world, send your help to me. Cry to God in prayer. Prayer of faith. Prayer of faith. Lord, from the east, 
from the west, from the north, from the south of this world. Send help to me in the name of Jesus. Send help to me in the name of Jesus. Send help to me in the name of Jesus. Send help to me in the name of Jesus. Send help to me in the name of Jesus. Send help to me in the name of Jesus. Send help to me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Your name alone be glorified. Send help to your people. That your name alone be glorified. Send help to your people. That your name alone be glorified. Send help to your people. That your name alone be glorified. Send help to your people. That your name alone be glorified. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. I want you to tell it to God. I want you to pray. I say, Lord God Almighty, as I access, as I walk in the revelation that you have given me this morning, Father, Lord God Almighty, help me to the end. Help me to delight in you to the end. Help me, Lord. Help me to delight in you to the end. Lord, every form of distraction that may want to cause me not to delight in you, Father, take them away my way. Take them from my way, oh God. Take them off my way. In the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, help me to walk in this revelation you have revealed to me. In the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, help me to walk in this revelation you have given me. From Psalm 37 verse 4. In the name of Jesus. Help me to walk in this revelation that you have given me, oh God. In the name of Jesus, help me to walk in this revelation that you have given me. Revelation to access divine help. Lord God Almighty, help me to walk in this revelation. In the name of Jesus, I reject every distraction. In the name of Jesus, I reject every distraction. In the name of Jesus, help me to do your will at all times. In the name of Jesus, help me to do your will at all times. In the name of Jesus. Help me to do your will at all times. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your holy name. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, the God Almighty, who was, who is, and who is to come. Thank you for your word that you have sent to us. Thank you for the revelation that you have given to us. Be glorified, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that you give us the enabling grace to walk in this revelation. In the name of Jesus. Every distraction that I want to distract us from walking in this revelation, according to Psalm 37 verse 4, any distraction that may want to distract us from working in this revelation. Father, set them ablaze in Jesus' name. Let them be powerless over our lives in Jesus' name. They shall have no power over us in Jesus' name. Father, Lord God Almighty, every soul that is hearing me right now, I decree into your life the help, the kind of help you have never received in the next seven days before we meet next week Saturday receive it in Jesus name not for favority but for the name of the Lord to be glorified for the name of the Lord to be glorified that kind of help that kind of help you have never received in the next seven days, 
receive it in Jesus' name. And the name of the Lord shall be glorified. I pray for everyone that is sick, be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for everyone that is sick, spiritually, physically, financially, receive your divine healing in Jesus' name. I pray for every soul that is struggling spiritually, receive divine help in Jesus' name. No sin shall have dominion over you in Jesus' name. You are healed in Jesus' name. Your help has come in Jesus' name. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to your holy name. Glory be to your holy name. Glory be to your holy name. None of us will be a castaway in Jesus' name. If Jesus Christ comes before next week, Saturday, the mercy of God will prevail over judgment over our lives and we shall reign with Christ we shall be raptured in Jesus name thank you Jesus Christ because I believe you have answered our prayers confirm your words in every life in Jesus name in Jesus Christ's mighty name I have prayed amen amen hallelujah 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 amen Uh, next week join us next week by the special grace of God the same time 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. every Saturday be a blessing to others by inviting them to this broadcast it's an audio broadcast for now be a blessing to others by inviting them to this broadcast next week we shall be launching into another dimension of God during the course of the week it will be made known to us on this broadcast on this platform even TV network I pray that the mercy of God locates you throughout the week in Jesus name in Jesus name I pray Amen Hallelujah